Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West and we're almost done with the game. I've already played, yeah, it was 93 hours. Last episode we helped Alva with the underground switch system and it was a meh side quest. It wasn't like honestly anything special. But I think it was, yeah, it was the episode before that we had a pretty nice and heartfelt conversation with Beta, which I actually enjoyed. Uh, they, they talked about Rost, and I kind of feel it would have been nice if Rost would have survived a bit longer and had a more permanent role in the game, but oh well. Anyway, now we're ready to talk to Gaia and start the Gemini Aldron quest, which is to capture Hephaestus. I think it's kind of a point of no return for the game. We'll Hello, see. Eloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite uh -huh. the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel. I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? <laughs> yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation. If okay. Your world, what have you found? Huh. So what will happen to this place while we're at Gemini? All systems within this facility will continue to operate. As Minerva will no longer be masking this location, the facility will be exposed to detection. Though okay. without my presence, it is unlikely to attract attention. Let's hope so. Okay. The whole thing is moving. Like, if Guy is moving, so is Minerva. Type of thing. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about- My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Hot Such zone. conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So, I guess things got better, eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. Yeah, ten years. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. Okay. So fought against the pharaoh machines in the valley until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. Oopsie. What else so we found? I, uh, found thieves. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Yeah, he fucked up that pretty badly. New humans and his ability to use Omega clearance on the terraforming system. I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep. Glad that didn't happen. Hmm. Yeah. Agreed. The yeah, Tefar was alive. Thieves. There was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Yeah, I remember that place from the me? first game. Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Oh, wow. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. That's mysterious. Huh. Gaia? 
What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Oh, yeah, that was it. Had she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. Did all that she could. Thanks, Gaia. Yeah, she was an interesting person. Last one. Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Okay. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Oh boy. Come on, come on. Three, six, seven? No, just six. The seventh is just equipments. Hey, there's. Thunderjaw? Where did. Oh, everyone is going to a different cauldron to set out those devices to mask our activity at Gemini. Lovely music. Yeah, that's Gemini. Someone take my hand. Someone will take my hand and I will fly. I think that's what she said. Okay. Good. We didn't have to do anything to get here. All right. This is going to be Gaia. Booting up. Beta. Aloy, I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Ooh. Getting scary. And everyone, fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay. Radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Yes, boss. Aye, aye, Captain. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting oh. to the cauldron network now. How many hours did it say Elizabeth I forgot? Sobeck, Alpha Prime, activating Omega clearance. Elizabeth Sobeck, Alpha Prime, activating Omega clearance. It was around four to five hours. Initiating containment sequence. Ooh, that's a Festus of Purple. Uh oh. 
Uh oh, machines are gonna come. Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. Containment unaccepted. It's cracked. Look. Uh oh. Defenses. Yep. That means machines are on their way. Get ready. Here they come. Are you gonna fight with your fist? Well, I should have built that before coming here. Oh, hello. all of them for now? Really? Just two machines? Okay, it's just nine left. Not worth it. Traps can I set? Max trap reached. You two okay? Still breathing. Hey, Lloyd. Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. I'll get the cracked core fixed in the meantime. Okay. Keep safe, Thorl. All my life. Yeah, please do. I've, I've promised to keep her safe, and she even asked me to kill her if something goes wrong so that she doesn't get captured, so I do not want that to happen. Okay, I gotta chase after Hephaestus. Force it out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. Large, medium, do I have small? Yeah, just in case. No, you don't have Festus. Aloy, I'm patched into your focus feet. You should know there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm there. Was that Alva? I thought we weren't radio silent. Okay, wait on a second. Next chamber. Oh, here it is. Uh oh. Festus is up to something, all right. What what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding too. Oh the. Okay, we have to follow them on the ground. We don't have to get to them. I gotta find where this is hiding. Looks like there are a couple of ways I could go. Oh, 
defenses check for materials made. Well, that doesn't sound good. Aloy, I've managed to rewire most of the components in the core, but... Oh, it's beta. The energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor? Connect it to... Power node. I think that could work. I think it could. Okay. Aldron Gemini. I should be able to catch a ride on one of those metal carriers. Okay. Whoa, what the hell are you building? God damn it, you're a friend of ours. Why are you trying so hard to not to be captured? Can you attack from above? Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you? Nice. What is your weakness, purge water? How about you? Shock. Got shock. No! That damn it. Hehe, <laughs> gotcha. I don't think it was just the two of them. Lovely. Did I get him with that shot or not? Well, that got him. Then what now? Oh, you're still alive? How? I got them all. I, I tapped into the core's network hub. I managed to disrupt Hephaestus' control of the node. You should be able to override it now. Nice. Okay. Thanks. What's all that noise? Materials. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. 
Uh-huh. Well, I better not get comfortable. Sure did. Energy containment failed. Same smoldering. Great. Festus covered the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy, more machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. Yeah, I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out. Aloy. I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. We better. Hey, you guys Okay, do not get electrified apparently. Fun. To catch a ride on the rail. Go over the shield. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand how to do. This place is covered with shit ton of material. How hard work did you suppose it's gonna be to beat this place? Okay. Is this something you can grab onto? That's colored red. Sorry, yellow. Yeah. Easy, baby. Fire and purge water. What are you weak against? Okay, freeze. Kaboom. Wow, you did not die. Impressive. That's one of my best weapons. Motherfucker. What are you weak against? Hee hee hee, how did you like that? Aren't you supposed to explode? I know. Not gonna stand up. Note access restored. Now you can override it. Great. You did that most thing. Construction bay one. Okay. This is running out of places to hide. Back in the production chamber. Uh oh. Something big is happening. Yep. You too. Everything's glowing. The machine that Festus was building. It must have finished it. Oh, it's, it's powered. Oh, 
Wow, so many threats. Okay. We've all defense plus three. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, hello, baby. Slaughter spine. killed this before. They're not that tough. Oh! How did I miss that? And bye bye. Sending Hephaestus back to you. Okay, where's that last node? This one here? Okay. So that's my circulator, okay? Apex loves wrong. No more hiding, Hephaestus! Got it! Hephaestus is back in the core! Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we this can way? The merch. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Barl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Are you gonna right, reply? Got you, Aloy. Okay. They're alive. That's good. This is definitely not the end of the story. Are my traps still active here? see them. Oh, I have to go to them. Hey, Lloyd. The, the bypass is done. The core is stable. Completed main quest, Gemini. Oh, that's it? And we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. That was way too easy. If that's it. This is not going to be it. Complete the merge. We need to excise Hephaestus's malicious code carefully. I'm getting goosebumps. Although the hand gestures are funny. Okay, that red thing's should get blue or something, I guess. Beta is gonna die. Fuck.
That's our new ride. Sunwing, I think? One shot, she's down. Explosion. That's far zenith. Yep. Well, hello, redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. <laughs> Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. <laughs> this motherfucker, we tagged him once before. Smart. He's gonna stand up, don't get cocky. Get behind me. Come on, Aloy. Silence? Maybe he can come up? Or Gaia can make machines here? Not Laurel. I did not see that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you promise she can do it. You promise, stay loyal. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! No. Oh, Tilda betrayed them! Til Tilda was the one that was helping Beta at the beginning. There's a tiny bit of a chance that he's alive. That he might be gone, gone. Quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. Okay. So, so far I was right, it was kind of a point of no return to the game, but it's funny that it didn't give any sort of heads up. All that remains. Why did Tilda bring me here? Classical music? Okay. What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look if you like. I'm curious wow. to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art or the insight we might gain. Stunning, isn't it? Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is Von Vianen's leaded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? 
How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. <laughs> its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial. Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. Hey, what about this? Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. Where are we in the map? Oh, this site. I've been here before. A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of... a boy in a hood? It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Okay, these are not examinable. This is art too. My favorite pairing on the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery, Woman Reading Music, which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Uh. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh no. I made my real fortune later. Eh? Selene and Endymion. She's the goddess of the moon. Whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the god of love, Cupid. So she's... sneaking up on him? More like visiting him in secret. <laughs> the torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. Oh, I never knew how you that's how you read paintings. <laughs> this is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. Okay, look at those. The Gust. Gust. By Willem van de Velde, the most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Mm -hmm. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. She's pulling out her own hair. Madness out of grief? It's hard to watch her suffer. A lot of weight on his shoulders. Yeah. Another feeling. Like he's carrying a boulder or something. Done so soon. I've got more important things to worry about. We both do. There is much we are trying to save. Not the least of which is in that vault. 
There's nothing yeah. wrong with savoring such treasures for a moment. No, I'm done with savoring time. I promised Beta that I would protect her and we failed. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say, we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Hmm. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit. You've been here before. I would expect you to look this less surprised. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. Ah, okay. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them, and lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. Focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible Everything. things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. I just love this picture when she was a kid. My back and I haven't even come close. Frost. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to in order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood, with her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. Stopping was stubborn. There was nothing that she could gain from saving your ass. We have Guy and Hephaestus. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Uh-huh. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. Cool. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone... We can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. Eh, not really. I wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours. Eh, Silence is not a friend, friend, really. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee. Building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah. Regala and her rebels. 
Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. So that's the was the... Weapon he's developed. What Silence has yes, been planning. he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling mm. each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. You said Beta is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to- Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. 35 hours. Help her if need be, but her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the data channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. Mm. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. That's what Ross did. Like, he had tough love for you. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Okay. Well, focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, Bravo, by the way. Gerard mm -hmm. and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? Kinda. If you like. Like they got you. Like, stop being arrogant. Know when you're defeated. 
So you know all about me? What would you like to know? Well... Start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Imagine having 1,000 years of memory. Survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You're an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. She's calling Elizabeth Liz. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were. Certainly, it, it wasn't until we were off-planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again. But this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Far Zenith's original vision. A better future for humanity. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Chill out. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. 
No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. Good one. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation. A passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door. Bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. Why do I have a feeling that Apollo is going to get messed up? <laughs> How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Okay. Regala's only interested in killing Hikaru and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zeniths? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet, for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. I don't well, think. Hundreds of Tanakh, they're cut down outside. That's a price you gotta pay. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything you. she was. I see in you, and more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. Mm, as it is these days. Authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. 
I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't. <laughs> she was very welcoming. Almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets, and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. Okay, we tried all the conversation pieces. So. First Faro. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. That easily? Ooh, Beta is gonna be fucking pissed at you. You didn't kill her as you promised. And she's not gonna see it as a favor. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaest hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra protection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Again, when it's time, can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything.
Close it, close it, close it, close it! Are you gonna tell her? Alright. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Aragala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. Will be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Ooh, that was a Besides lovely line. Only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Mm -hmm. I need a friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Ooh. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. Oh. Oh, that's the a giant machine. Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. All right. Aloy. Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... At, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Okay, return to the base. All right, so come on, come on. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenas can't hear us. Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. Chow. 35 out of 39. Good. Laurel is actually gone. I thought that there might be a chance to bring wounded, him back. You have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can't I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Yeah, kind of. Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Kind of. Like that. <laughs> Told ya. So. Hello, boss. After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... 
We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Mm -hmm. need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. Will do. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenus. Oh we'll yeah, baby. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Really? A bunch of them? Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Actually, before anything, we need to resupply. Mm hmm not gonna happen. Not gonna happen either. Oh yeah, this is an awesome thing, but only if upgraded. Okay, ammo. We're good here. And how about this one? Is that last one unlock it? No. Oh, we have to go back to the Gemini, I think, to get that. Talk to Zoe. Prickling my lungs. Is that for war? Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and sunrise. Further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots 
it's rotting snow Still the sea rises As certain as stone From death follows new life So it is with the land And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, Ugh. I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I did not see that one coming. I forgot to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Hmm. I love that they have made a location that you can sit with Laurel. I did not see that last piece coming. I'm gonna keep going. It's been more than one hour, but... I will call this episode Gemini and what comes after. I think that's a suitable yeah. headline. And the Sunwing. No cost. It was Beta's gift. Override installed. Now to find a Sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Okay, why did you give me this path? Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Okay, that's why. I have killed a few here, actually. I remember that I went up there. I think there's a green shine slab around here, actually. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, I guess. Sunwings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. I have a bunch of upgrades for making less noise, so I think we should be okay. Got it. Ooh, lovely. How do we ride this thing? Oh, this is it. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh 
to fly forward. How do you go? Okay, down is going up. Ooh, this is so cool. Okay, we keep kind of like floating. Hey! Hey, there is a... Why are you not showing me? Yay, this location is also unlocked now. And we can get to that too now. But for some reason, it's not showing me a bunch yeah. of stuff. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first, you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. Honestly. Yep. I'm aware of that. Buddy, buddy, that way. <laughs> This is as high as you go? Okay, why aren't you moving? Hey! Kind of remember there was a green shine slab around here. You're leaving the playing area? Am I? Okay, it's not showing me what I want to find, but it's okay. Yeeha! This is fun. Now every single place in the game is reachable. Hello. Fly to the tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Slow down. R1 to ascend, R2 to oh, descent. gonna go kaboom. Okay, Tilda, I've over in the tall neck. All tall necks. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, okay. I want to help. Flying. Choose a fly map. Summon it to your current position. Hey, buddy. How can I jump on top Whoa. of it? Oh! Okay. That was nice. I guess the difference is that when you call the mount, it's going to pick you up. You're not going to mount it yourself. Mm 
me check something. It is not showing anything else. Okay. I'm looking for green shine slabs. Wow. That was an interesting touch, and I love the shadow. There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. Where? Oh, there it is. Oh, we can grab it from here? Got the oh. Now onto the grove. That's how we do it. Pulse from Atomic should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Pretty useful. Even after I deal with the Bella. Okay. These are gonna be upgradable equipments or something? I don't like the view right now. Although it's gonna be, it's nice to see underneath, but the camera is looking weird. Fly to the Memorial Grove. Alright, here we go. Drop the energy cell. Ooh, hello everyone! That's gonna be a grand entrance. Oh, that inside. Akara will soon be dead. It's all over, Chaplin. Not really. Now. Here it goes. Okay, the pulse only messes up with machines, of course. Now you're fucked. Who's that? Oh, that's Regala. End of the line, Hakon. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down. The machines, all of them, they're down. What? How's that possible? Regala! That's how. Ooh, yeah, baby. Enough bloodshed. Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. Oh, I'm gonna come down. Don't worry about that. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you... You can kiss I'll my ass. The slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. <laughs> Am I gonna do anything or not? Yep, I'm gonna well, fight. Come on. Hey, 
Hey, how did you like that? How can I go up? I can't? Oh, nice! You've got a glider, why don't you use that? Oh yeah, that is. But for yeah, you. It is. I can keep going. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying I am as weak as what now? This is the way to fight. This is the way to kill. I'm not here to play with you. On my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I gonna... spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! <laughs> what more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I know how it goes. Uh, if you save her, she's gonna help you with the coming war, which is gonna be the way to do it if you're just playing a game. But if you're playing as a character, um, well, if I'm playing as Aloy, I do I should not end her life. That's what she would do, as he just, as just she said. But if I'm playing as me, I would kill her. Oh, I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to do. <sighs> okay. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not, not a mercy. mercy. You're gonna die there. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this. Yes. My blood is yours. Your okay, that was too easy. Are mine. 
Meet us at our stronghold in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does oh. not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see in the throne room. What was uncovered now? surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. Ooh, that silence. That is silence. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. <laughs> you saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Oh, it's a new, probably legendary armor. Thank you. Yep, took away your options. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Ah, oh, don't worry about that. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenus. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. I'm listening. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Ooh, Don't nice. She's bossy. Lovely. I just love her. Tilda, you there? Tanakh High Marshal. I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Okay, hold on. Outfit. Tanakh High Marshal. Definitely not a good one uh, stat-wise. But an interesting one in the looks. Huh, that counts as tools. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. Turn to the base. Are you going to show... No, you're not going to show. So three and five. Sorry, one sec. Two skill points. Two skill points. In total, 
After level 50, I'm not gaining any skill points from XP. So, Aloy, you've added yet another deed to your name. And I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. No, we're not. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. Then I will. You have my word. That's a kid that we saved. My last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. I could earn three half drops. To take to the skies. Yeah, but they're still just all these the land. Desert land is grateful, Aloy. Well, the flame of the desert now flies on the wings of the ten. What wonders never cease. <laughs> thought you wanted to stay neutral. In the end, I decided that if you thought Hakara was worth fighting for, then that was good enough for me. I'm honored. The honor is mine. I hope you know what you're doing. Sparing Regala caused this mess to begin with. And so the wings of the Ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. <laughs> Maybe, but we will always be in your debt. I appreciate that. Okay. Good day, champion. So, I'm thinking that I will not get distracted with the side quests just yet. There are a lot of stuff to do, that is true. But, it's not a spine. You want to find that location? Ah, Tides of Justice, The Way Home. Yeah, those are the two side quests. That location we could not reach. That one I could not find a location without a flying mount and stuff like that. But I will keep going on the main quest. What did I do? Nope. That's not what I meant. Oh, I can. Left. Now I can take to the skies. Battle roll? What is that? Dismount. Hey. Let's get one green shine slab. Because it will give me an upgrade for one of my main weapons. This one. Is it the one that it's inside the cage? Because this place is reachable. It must be the one that's in the cage. Oh, there it is. Abrasive blastling thingy. Go to workbench. Uh, do, 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 do. We're gonna go back to the base. Are you gonna let me go to the bench first, or are you gonna activate the quest? Please don't. Ah, god damn it! I did not want to do the next part. Hey, uh, Mr. Know It All is here. You know your focus, buddy, who never smiles. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead. You're not gonna let me choose. Okay. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. 
I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. She can. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. <laughs> Care for demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together. At least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh no, you first. I'm not gonna <laughs> let you be on my back. That's kind of smart with the person that has the only weapon that can kill you. Alright. Better get everyone in the control room so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Nope, not the control room yet. I'm uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. I can do it. Ooh. Yellow? Of course. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's funny. One of the best. Did you need something? Was he here? Oh yeah, he is. It's my room. So. Yay! Maxing this guy out. Agility damage and new slot. Nice, 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 nice. All right. What needs green shine stuff to upgrade? I do remember one of them needed green shine. There it is. Um, I have to sacrifice two clusters, I guess. Great job, but don't do that. All right, what else? What else? What else? I'm not gonna talk to them. They're they're pretty talkative. Assemble your companions. Yeah, not yet. Uh, it's been about two hours. And I think it's a good place to finish this episode. We did a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna start next episode after making some ammo. Yeah, it's actually just that one. The rest are quite full, actually. So we're good. Alright, let me see if there are any final statements to make before we... Finish this episode. No, I think we're good. Uh, there it is. That's the green shine slot that I was looking for.
There are quite a lot of them around, five or six at least. Unknown Sunwing. Yeah, I want to go there too. I wonder what is there. But I'm not gonna... Is that a... Fly to the mountain. First to fly. Oh, okay. That's the other side quest. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of them before I finish the main story and then I'll play a few episodes to tie up the loose ends, I guess. Um, I want to see how this game is going to end, like the main story. Anyway, so yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. It was quite a long one, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It would be very much appreciated, and I'll catch you next one. Bye for now.